not even need this microphone. <laughs> it is so wonderful to be here. Thank you so much to Prosperity Now. Uh, this is my first time at the conference, but not my first time interacting and, and working with them and all the amazing work they do across the country. And it is so wonderful to be here with all of you beautiful people who is missing all of this stuff going on outside just to be with us. Give yourselves a hand. Okay, so now, for all of you folks who love data and you want to take a deeper dive into our Stepping Out of Poverty Debt Spiral, it is on the link, and you can go and get all the numbers and figures that you want to have. Um, and please check that out. It's a wonderful report. But today, I want to give you a quick snapshot of the human devastation that predatory debt practices are causing to countless families, not only in Chicago, Illinois, but across the country. Now, we all have bills, right? Y'all don't have no bills? Well, wait a minute then. We need to have a sidebar before I even start this because I want to know your secret. But we all have bills, right? And we all have to pay our bills. But that's not the problem. For so many people in so many communities, like Donna, I'll give as an example, um, and I thought her face would be on the screen by now, but I guess we're not, um, okay, we kind of got it backwards. For Donna, over here to the right, and so many others like her, a simple gas bill with unstable rates and excessive fees could create not only an inability to pay, but could cause her and her children to be in the cold, without heat, without hot water to bathe, without cooking gas. Um, now, if, if we get a parking ticket, we're supposed to pay it, right? Now look, y'all gonna have to talk back to me now. I, uh, unless we at a funeral, everything dead need to be buried. We're alive in here, right? Come on, talk back to me. If you get a ticket, and it was your fault, you should pay it, right? All right, yeah, and, and, and we agree, but that's not the problem again. We should pay it, except oftentimes in communities of color, like Rosalva's case, the young lady to the left, and countless others, I could give you names all day long, who are surviving horrible domestic violence and being forced to be re-victimized again after her abuse because her very abuser ran up parking tickets and she became responsible for them. And even at that, even after making an effort to pay, the small amount of money that she had was not enough. They wanted her to give an exorbitant down payment just to even start paying on tickets that weren't her own. Somebody say ridiculous. And I could go on with story after story, but I won't, because I see my time is at about four minutes. So, uh, But I just wanted to give you a couple of examples of some of the things that are not just happening in Chicago, Illinois, but across the country. I hear story after story about predatory fees, predatory fines, things that are keeping people in debt things that are keeping people from paying their bills, things that are keeping people from building assets, but things that are at this point keeping people from surviving. It has caused so much homelessness and so many other detrimental things, suicide, uh, and, and the list goes on and on. And, and I'm not here to throw a pity party for any of these people. I'm just here to talk about fairness. These kinds of predicaments are happening across the country, and it is very ridiculous. I have a number of stories, but I won't take time to tell you. As a matter of fact, I could share a few of my own, but that would take the rest of the day and everyone else's time, so I won't. Uh, but the point is, we are outraged, and I hope you are too to hear that systems and policies that were supposed to be designed to make things work better for us have made it almost impossible for folks to survive in some communities. Believe it or not, 
Some folks want to pull themselves up by their bootstraps, but they stole the bootstraps. So as co-president of Kofi Power Pack Illinois, along with other parents, we want to be a part of what works well. We want to be a part of comprehensive solutions that benefit all of us, even the policymakers. We know it loses revenue, but you lose revenue because you can't get blood from a turnip. And if you expect me to pay, you need to give me the ability to pay. Okay, legislators and other partners, we've worked with them all. And currently, um, across the city and state, we make policy recommendations that you can see in our report. So take a look. Parents and other partners have strategized around a financial justice initiative. We've also met with San Francisco's treasurer and our own treasurer to take a page from their successful financial justice work. Now, I can feel the excitement in the room <laughs> with all the various walks of life that are present here today. You all are wondering, Rose, what can I do to help? Well, I'm glad you asked me that question because everyone can do something. It is my sound philosophy that either you're a part of the solution or you're a part of the problem. So here's what you can do. Some of you can spread the word by way of social media, you people who like to do the thumb thing. Um, some of you can talk about it at meetings and forums if you're like me and travel all over the country. I sing this song everywhere I go. Um, some of you can let um, funders that you know know that it takes everything um, needs money to change. Okay? Some of you have relationships with policymakers or systems leaders. Please let them know the travesties that are happening all across this country, that people are being strong-armed when they just want to pay their bills and live a quality of life with equity like everybody else. Now, I don't want to let anybody feel left out. Some of you are fortunate enough to have big money. And for you all, feel free to liberally donate to all of the causes that are standing up on behalf of people that these devastations are happening to. Um, and if I miss anything or anyone's walk of life, you can go online or on this app. Look, look up kofionline.org and look at all the amazing work that parents are doing to help themselves. It's not the story or the myths that you've heard. We are being a part of change in a big way. And I can't possibly tell you all of it today. We've got five campaigns that are around because it's all connected, you guys. And for funders, let me destroy a myth really quickly. If you're funding one thing, don't look for the perfect pie, because at the end of the day, it's all connected. So if you see something that's working, that's moving, put money into it so it can be successful. We have these two month one and done, and we miss the mark all the time because it needs to continue until we have victory. I'm all about victory. Can y'all say victory? Okay, now I'm talking about all this, but I've lived all this. So I want those of you that I didn't call out your role and you don't feel like any of this suits you, close your eyes for a moment, walk in my shoes for a moment, as a woman who was a victim of all the things that I've named to you before, while I was dying with stage four cancer all over my body, and yet, I still stood for the things that I knew could make my community and my family and all the folks around me better. And so I implore you today to absolutely do anything that you can and everybody can do something. Thank you all. Woo!